Uh, let's move on. Um, Sri Lanka's newly elected president, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, has sworn in his own brother as prime minister. Mahinda Rajapaksa served as president for 10 years. Gotabaya Raj Rajapaksa has vowed to be tough on security issues in light of the Easter bombings that happened uh, earlier this year. Let's go live now to Colombo. Al Jazeera's Manel Fernandez can uh, tell us more about uh, the uh, swearing-in ceremony and whether the Rajapaksas, Manel, have got down to work yet. Absolutely, Adrian. It started uh, earlier today uh, when uh, Mahinda Rajapaksa, the former president, uh, took his oath of office before his younger brother, the new president, Gotabe Rajapaksa. Now, obviously, this marks a sort of a return and a reversal of the Rajapaksa fortunes. Uh, bear in mind uh, that elder brother Mahinda was voted out of office in 2015 as he attempted uh, to win a third term. Uh, however, uh, this... Uh the entire result and the last couple of days uh, has marked essentially a public sort of a reversal uh, in terms of harking back to the Rajapaksas, very much an acknowledgement uh, that their priorities have shifted since those April uh, Easter bombings, where the concerns that national security uh, needs someone uh, sort of capable, and therein come the Rajapaksas. Uh, they've proved, uh, as the majority has voted, uh, that they managed to bring to an end a 26-year civil war, uh, get a handle on national security, and that's what they're promising to do uh, once again. Uh, Gotabi Rajapaksa, the president, uh, has replaced all the governors in the provinces of Sri Lanka. Uh, we had all the new appointments coming through today. Um, we've also had uh, Mahinda Rajapaksa, the new prime minister, actually T starting work today. This is actually the official prime minister's office. He was here uh, for about three hours today, uh, not just to symbolically and ceremonially sort of sign his first documents, but also to have a series of meetings. He was holed up uh, with uh, basically his supporters, his loyalists, his party, um, obviously mapping out the next couple of days. Uh, we did see uh, Mahinda Rajapaksa's uh, newly appointed secretary, the secretary of the president walking in. There was a lot of activity because the first thing that Mahinda Rajapaksa has to do uh, after his appointment as Prime Minister, obviously, is to name his cabinet. We're hearing that uh, that cabinet will be named on Friday. And uh, one sort of key thing that has been talked about is that this cabinet, which will be very much a sort of an interim uh, government until elections take place uh, for the new parliament, uh, that that cabinet is going to be limited to uh, sort of around 15 ministers. Now, that itself is a mammoth task. I mean, particularly in terms of the bartering going on, in terms of all the support that the Rajapaksas has got, uh, everybody will want a piece of the action, uh, but that's going to be one of their first challenges, limited, limiting that cabinet and basically mapping out the next couple of days. Adrian? Manel, many thanks indeed. Manel Fernandez, they're live in Colombo.